What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. Today is straight leg day. Um, and I did some deadlifts as well. I'm skipping the shoulders for the next two weeks just to make sure that my shoulder is not completely blown out. Um, I do feel some uncomfort when I'm lifting and not so much on this movement, but I wanted to play on the, on the safe side. So for the next two weeks, I'm going to go very, very light in terms of any shoulder movements or any bench press movements. Uh, so that way I can give either myself some time to heal or to see if it's just really bad where I need surgery again, which I hope I don't because it really sucks because then I can't make any workout videos for like a year. So let's see how everything goes. Fingers crossed and let's keep moving through these videos. So this one's straight leg days. I like this workout. I started out very slow. It's a little bit lighter than I do. However, on the leg presses, as you'll see, I actually wound up doing a drop set, which is real nice. It's easier to probably do that with a spotter or with somebody else that you're going in the gym with so you can swap it out faster, but I usually go to the gym by myself. And this might actually be one of the last times I actually go to Lifestyle Fitness instead of LA Fitness. Basically, if you have a, one of the health plan memberships and you used to go to Lifestyle, you can't anymore. LA Fitness basically fucked everybody over that had that program. And when they bought off Lifestyle, they didn't buy out the actual contract toward the health stuff, the health fitness stuff. So I'm gonna have to try to find another gym. Uh, I'll probably just keep going to Gold's. Gold's is still uh, the best gym that I go to personally. Even though this one's nice and clean, has some newer machines. Gold's is just raw, man. I can go in there and freaking yell, scream, and throw weights as however much I want, and not feel like somebody's gonna look over their shoulder and be like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" So <laughs> let's go right into the videos, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Let's go through it. So first thing I'm doing right here is just some hack squats. Really simple workout. I wanted to warm things up. My knee was feeling a little weird, so I took some extra time to actually warm up in between this and the next set. And you see there, I actually stopped for a little bit, and I'm actually thinking, shit, my knee feels a little weird. Let me kind of warm it up a little bit. So I warmed it up a little bit more before I jumped onto the next one. It felt okay. So here I am focusing a little bit more on pushing from my heels, if you notice. Um, and you probably can't see this in the video, but over on the bottom left, if you guys can see it, I'm actually pushing through my heels. I'm actually focusing on my hamstring a lot more than just focusing on my quads. Real good workout, really nice and light. I didn't want to go too heavy on my first two workouts. Uh, here, just starting out with some basic deadlifts. And again, I'm trying to perfect the technique, so I'm not going very heavy. Last thing I want to do is snap some shit up. Um, I do go my heaviest in this particular routine but I don't go all crazy or balls to the wall or anything like that. Again, it's a warm-up session for me. I'm warming up, I am touching the floor, notice how it touches the ground and I come right back up. I'm not slamming it or anything like that, but I am touching the ground and then coming back up. Another thing I wanna note is, this is the first time that I used the straps and I don't have them here so you guys can see them, but they're really nice straps, didn't feel any uncomfort, didn't cut into my skin at all. They fit well with the gloves that I wear too. Um, in fact, I actually need some new gloves because they're already wearing away at the palm. But it was actually really good, felt good, didn't lose any grip. Um, have to get used to rolling them on there and stuff and rolling them in the right direction. But other than that, it was fine. Notice again, slow movements, not just dropping the weight or anything like that. Again, I don't want to snap anything up. This is a great compound movement to do. And this is my second set here. I go heavier on my next set. This is 225, my next set I go 275. It's the first time I actually go 275, so I'm happy with myself for doing that. Um, and again, I'm going real nice and slow, making sure I control my movement, making sure I pick up slow, lock out, come back down, smooth movements all the way through. Keep in mind, guys, that when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you either watch a lot of videos or you have a personal trainer with you, especially with these kind of compound movements with squats or deadlifts or anything because you will fuck something up. So watch as many videos as possible on YouTube. Um, definitely check out uh, Campbell Fitness. He has some great stuff. Um, uh, Matt Ogus has some great stuff too on deadlifts. And definitely check them out before you guys start doing this stuff because it's important to do the proper form. Here, nothing crazy. Just uh, some sitting calf, calf raises. Nothing crazy about that. I just wanted to throw some calves in there for the day. Here, and again, instead of me just doing push motions, I'm just gonna do some pull motions. So I'm just doing um, some shoulder shrugs here with the barbell at uh, 225. Probably a little bit heavier than I usually do. Actually, about right. I usually go a little bit heavier than this because I do the individual ones. 
Um, and that probably doesn't go up to 275. Probably goes up around, uh, I want to say 135 on each side. So that's a nice little workout there. And next one I do, and here I start off real slow on my leg presses. So this is the, I think, 45 degree leg press or whatever, a 35 degree leg press. Um, I start off real slow in terms of weight, not in terms of how much I'm pushing, because this feels like nothing. Uh, that right there is a little bit of weight, not too much. Here I add on another two, um, two 45 pound plates on the each side. So that brings me to 450, that's 495 that I'm actually pushing right here. Nice and easy, nice and lightweight kind of building myself up because I actually did hit my highest this time around. This one right here is uh, my heaviest that I've ever done and I kind of went nuts on it. On one of them I actually failed and it actually hit the bottom. You'll see here in a second that basically this is 725 is officially what I just pushed here. 725. That's my high. I'm happy. Every three weeks, I try to push myself as much as possible, especially when I've been doing leg, leg stuff. And again, I did a drop set, so I took off the 50 pounds, went to the next one, and that's 675, I think it is, or something like that. This one, I did the same thing. Dropped, took off another two, two plates of 45 pounds on each side. This one's about four something, uh, 450, I think it is, or something like that. And then, that's basically it for legs. Uh, wanted to do some rear back extensions, I think is what they're called. Just grab some 45 pound plates, lean back, really nice and smooth exercise. Um, it's great for your lower back. Great to actually, you know, kind of just start losing some of that back fat, man. The IF is actually really good. It's working out really well, but you know, you still gotta build up the muscle underneath it too. There you go, I kind of failed a little bit and then I just dropped the weight. <laughs> Drop that bitch. So here's the last workout right here that I wound up doing. Just some leg curls, really simple stuff, nothing too crazy. Again, it was a little bit lighter than what I typically do, just because, honestly, I didn't want to go all nuts in the gym. I only just took some beta alley, I'm out of my tier one. I'm waiting for the stuff to come in. I'm really excited for that. That's basically it, guys. That's my videos for the day, and that's my workout. Next week, I'm, again, going to try to do three days a week. I'm going to try to do some chest, but it's going to be very, very light. It's probably going to be some cable stuff, if I can push some cable stuff. All depends on how my shoulder wants to act up or doesn't want to act up. But as always, guys, if you like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Definitely follow the routines. If you notice with my cousin's workout from yesterday, it actually, it's working, man. He's actually looking at some gains. My workouts work. Basically, they're just workouts work. Whatever your goal is, guys, whatever you're pushing forward to, make it happen. No bullshit, no excuses. Make it happen.